Hey! You grew up with that ugly glasses, right? Hey, do you like him? <laughs> not really. It's not like that. What? You don't like him? But you guys were exchanging mangas yesterday just as usual, right? If you don't like him, why don't we exchange mangas instead? I have a whole bunch of mangas that'll make your heart tingle. Please stop! Hey, come on! Don't be serious like that. S stop it! Can't you see that she wants to be alone? Kaito! What do you want from me, dude? That girl doesn't even care about you. So this is okay, right? <sighs> no matter what you say to me, I care about Yuki! I won't let a lowlife like you have Yuki! Kaito! Uh, damn it! You better watch your back! Thank you! I had no idea you were such a brave guy, Kaito! I'll do anything for someone I love. Kaito! I'm really glad. Live happily ever after, you two! Yay! It's the tenth couple that formed this month! Congratulations, everyone! Sorry about the late intro, but my name is Akira. My hobby is to act like a lowlife and harass girls to help form couples between boys and girls who have a hard time getting closer. That's right. My passion in life is to be Cupid of relationships. At this rate, I could totally get up to forming 20 couples this month. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. So maybe I'll stop by at that place today. Oh, Akira-kun. Oh my gosh, you'll fall down! Hey, I'm not a kid, all right, so I won't fall down. I'm already 24 years old. You're only a high schooler, so can you stop treating me like a kid? I think this every time, but she really doesn't look like she's 24. Anyways, the fact that you're here, doesn't that mean there's something you want me to do for you? Wait, not really. It's not like I'm always here to ask you for that, Shizuka-san. But it'll definitely go faster if I just did it for you, right? I think I should sometimes do it quietly on my own, so... But you know you can't find the right spot if you do it on your own. That's... that's because I like complex stuff. Don't hold back. You can just ask me for help, you know? You're really just itching to get it, aren't you? <sighs> Hey, look, it's not like I've got all day, so if you don't ask for it, I'll go over to someone else. Please, I want it. <laughs> I can't hear you. Hey, I don't know what you want if you don't speak up. Please, I want you to do it. I want you to introduce me new releases of funny light novels and mangas that I love. <laughs> We've got a great selection this month. For example, in this story, the heroine who really liked the protagonist ultimately gets together with his rival. Yay, I'm super grateful for you. You can never predict when that type of event happens, so it takes me forever to find stuff like that. So you like cuckolding events in stories? No, I don't really like cheating. I want the heroine and the rival to simply become happy together without causing any complexion. So you like stories that make it look like the protagonist and heroine will definitely get together, but they actually don't, right? Is it wrong for the protagonist and heroine to get together? I like the protagonist's expression in the moment when the heroine and the rival get together. It's like he's saying, that's amazing, you guys are great together. Like he's giving them his blessings as their closest friend. So you're happy as long as someone other than you becomes happy. Yeah, that's it. If anything, it's awesome to be treated like an underdog or stepping stool. Akira-kun, you're such a masochist. Huh? No, I didn't really mean to come off like that. Uh, anyways, Shizuka-san, don't you have a crush? Huh? Why do you ask so suddenly? Actually, there's a friend of mine who acts like Cupid. I've heard that he'll help you get your crush if you ask him. If you have a crush on someone, I'll ask him to help you out for you, Shizuka-san. Huh? Why are you going out of your way to ask about my... It's to thank you for everything. I've come across so many amazing books thanks to you, Shizuka-san. I'm so blessed. No thanks. Huh? So, 
You've got Cupid's son by your side. Aren't you gonna ask for his help, Akira-kun? Um, I don't really... Akira-kun, don't you ever feel like you want to focus on your own happiness rather than that of others? Huh? Why is she all mad? My happiness? Isn't it okay for me to feel happy seeing people around me happy? <sighs> this is the 19th couple formed this month. Just one more couple to go to mark my all-time high of 20 couples in one month! Isn't that guy the Akira with the losing streak? You're right! <laughs> he randomly hits on girls and gets beaten up every time by the girls' boyfriends, right? So weak! <laughs> so lame that he keeps losing to introverts even though he looks like that. There's even a rumor going around that any girl who gets hit on by him gets a boyfriend. <laughs> All I gotta do is keep smiling. I don't care. All I want is for everyone else to be happy. Huh. You guys all better be bursting with happiness forever. <laughs> Akira-kun, don't you want to just focus on your own happiness rather than that of others? My happiness? I'm happy, thanks to the sense of fulfillment I earned from my hobbies and passions in life. But why am I? Why is there something warm flowing out of my eyes? It'll probably be a hassle for them if I enter the store super soaked like this. Uh, um, you must be Akira-kun, right? Huh? Yeah? Um, this is from Honda-san. She asked me to give this to you. She should just give it to you herself, but told me she didn't want to get wet. From Shizuka-san? I don't really want to get wet either, so I'm gonna head back. See ya! Don't catch a cold, Akira-kun! What is it? A manga? The manga Shizuka-san gave me is one of those typical shoujo mangas. It's a story of a guy who's way too nice to everyone, but doesn't really notice that the protagonist is crushing on him. Yeah. Guys that oblivious totally exist. I mean, the guy not only doesn't notice that the protagonist has a big crush on him, but even goes out of his way to introduce some other dude to her. That's cold, man. He's making the protagonist cry. It's so much like you that it makes me cry, Akira-kun! Huh? Shizuka-san and I? It's to thank you for everything. I've come across so many amazing books thanks to you, Shizuka-san. I'm so blessed. Huh? Am I this oblivious guy? Uh, huh? Does it mean that Shizuka-san likes me? <laughs> Can I make it just in time before the store closes? <sighs> Am I stupid? As if I'd make it on time cutting it so close. I don't even know if Shizuka-san will stay until closing time anyways. Huh? Akira-kun? Sh Shizuka-san. What are you doing? It's so late at night. Umbrella-less. Soaking wet. Here, hold my umbrella. Gosh, did I have a towel on me? You're such a kid. You're probably thinking nothing more than getting out of school if you catch a cold, right? I... I was really just a nuisance at first. Huh? I was the sort of scum who'd have fun harassing girls and seeing them hate it. But one day, a guy who beat me like a superhero became a couple with the girl he helped out. My heart was deeply moved seeing the couple deepening their bond by getting over the incident together. It was so fun playing Cupid, hoping for everyone's happiness. But I want to be happy too. I want to make a cute girlfriend and be protected too. There, there. It's wonderful that you hope for everyone's happiness, but there's someone who can't be happy as long as you're not happy, Akira-kun. Shizuka-san? There's someone like me who wants to be happy with you, Akira-kun. In the cold rain at night, the 20th couple of the month was born, and the blonde, low-life Cupid retired. What? What happened to your hair? <laughs> well... I don't really need to look like a lowlife anymore. And I thought staying blonde as your boyfriend wouldn't be appropriate. Oh, oh, really? It just caught me by s surprise. What's wrong? Your face is all red. No, 
um, I... It's not like you look so perfect that I'm getting all overwhelmed or anything like that. <laughs> Jeez, treating important merchandise like that? You might look like a kid, but don't act like one, too. Get it together. <laughs> hmm? Who did you just call a kid? Th th that's what's childish about you. <laughs> Such a cutie. Damn it. I don't want to see her with anyone else. I want to be the one who makes her happy with my own two hands. <laughs> <laughs>